Two restaurant owners who shattered glass ceilings on the south side are now picking up pieces of their own. Tonight, the owners of Back to the Future spoke with me about their tough decision to close, their thanks to the community, and what their future may look like after a battle with the Hollywood studio behind their, the film that inspired their business. The owners of Back to the Future are now headed back to the drawing board. The husband and wife tell KDKA Universal Studios sent them an injunction over their reference to the 1985 film Back to the Future at their two restaurant locations in the Southside Works and downtown. It basically started with us trying to franchise Back to the Future in different cities, different states. With hopes to franchise, the owners applied for a trademark last year and got approved. But when Universal Studios caught wind, they contacted the couple and warned them to withdraw. They just came back, told us to withdraw. They also wanted us to take our social media down, um, our name up top, any pictures of Back to the Future movie in any restaurant they wanted gone, menus, everything. They tell KDKA their attorney believes since their trademark was approved, they could have fought and won. But Universal could also just keep appealing, which is a legal battle the owners simply cannot afford. Rebranding is another expense they cannot afford at $20,000 minimum per location, forcing them to make a tough decision to close shop pay for your plans to go to the city, then once they say, yeah, no, whatever, you have to pay for your permit, then you have to pay somebody to come put the sign up. The two cashed out their retirement savings five years ago to launch Back to the Future, in which time they have operated three locations, created numerous programs for women, children, and people experiencing homelessness, and became the first black-owned business in the Southside Works. June 8th was even declared Back to the Future Day in Pittsburgh. The couple tells KDKA saying goodbye is not going to be easy. It felt like watching your own funeral. We put our family, our heart, like this is us. So it really is like losing one of your kids, like your kids never coming back home. It, my heart is dying right now. Their downtown location has already closed. The south side location closes August 16th. Right now, the owners are trying to come up with the money to try and rebrand in the future. We have their contact information listed on our website, kdk.com, if you're interested in helping.